guys, Matt here. And today, me and my buddy Zach went out to Etowah and we took a look at the Lone Star Disc Mockingbird. Got two here. Zach mainly threw the Bravo one here. That's the slightly gummy, like in between Star and G Star type plastic. And uh, a little bit glidier and maybe a touch less stable. And then I was throwing the Alpha line, a little stiffer, but not much, and uh, maybe a touch more stable. And uh, honestly, I've never really thrown an understable disc very much uh, for a fairway. Numbers are seven, five, negative two, one. And I don't have anything in my bag, and I don't think I ever have, that actually nets negative. Um, I throw a West Side Stag from time to time, and uh, historically those are about net even. It's probably, I think the number's like negative one, two, but they really throw like negative two, two, something like that. And that's kind of my turnover disc. But I thought we'd give these a shot, and there's some great holes to test an understable mid-range or a fairway driver out there, because there's a lot of tree tunnels and places where you need to hold an Anheuser a long time. So we gave them some shots. Ended up uh, liking them a pretty good bit. I'll let you guys see how we did, and uh, maybe you'll check one out too. On the whole three fairways, Zach's going to take it on the Heiser flip line here. Gets it right up, a little bit too low, but... He's still at the edge of circle two. Hole five, I'm going hyzer flip down this tree tunnel. It pures it, but the lack of fade puts it straight the whole way and at the edge of C2. Zach actually had a great throw with his here, but it kept turning a little bit and hit that tree. Taking that outside Anheuser line. He actually threw this one really, really well, but it nicked a late tree, ended up edge of C2. I'm going on a little bit higher Anheuser line, which gave it a little bit more time to stall out, and it ends up right at the edge of circle one. Really, really happy with that shot. Zach's going on the inside line here. He flips it up real nice, puts it right at the edge of circle two. I do a similar one, a little bit higher line. It hits a tree right by the basket and kicks it back to the circle's one edge, but still made the putt. So to wrap up, like overall we threw them pretty well. Um, they held that turn a long time, but do have just enough stability to where it doesn't hold it to the ground. It kind of flattens out and I wouldn't say it fades as such, but it kind of straightens out and starts moving forward as it's falling to the ground. Uh, the rim feels tiny to me. And I don't know if that's the angle, but like you can tell they're a little domey, but it's not like a big parachute dome. It's pretty much in line with this very wedge shaped wing that's kind of like a F5 or something like that. That's about the stability you get from this, maybe a touch less, but uh, overall, like just about anyone could grip that. It feels small for a seven speed, like it feels very comparable to a leopard, but it doesn't have that weird like little divot mid rim the leopard does. And I actually really enjoyed it. Trying to figure out where it would slot in my bag because I'd normally throw a forehand on a lot of holes right through this, but uh, overall had some really good lines and I gotta say, the Lone Star Plastic, I keep liking it more and more. The Alpha is a little stiffer and feels good on these nice warm days, but the Bravo is really gummy, and when you need something to stick a little quicker, it feels great as well. So hopefully you guys check one out if you think it's something you might enjoy. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.